knobs, guns, um, brass knuckles, box cutters, ice picks, screwdrivers, bats, rocks, paper, scissors, whatever it takes to protect themselves. Across this country, we place a great deal of emphasis on the safety of our children and the education of our children. But considering how crazy these kids are, what's going on with society? It's like looking out the window, all you hear is lingo, louder than the powder keg that's been blown. What's happening in these kids' homes? Parents shouldn't let them roam in the streets. Apparently, it's a syndrome. It's getting worse. Headstrong, too familiar with headstones. Infatuated with headphones. Street screwed on, they head wrong. Cab drivers, pass riders of the same skin tone. And thus, the cycle of mistrust spins on. Classroom get filled to the brim, so more advanced students just sitting through intros. Whole lot of school lockers got broken into. And I guess so, just boosted fresh new gym shoes. No big news compared to real dramas when they already know the details of what a bail bond is. From the arrest warrants and mailboxes to the collect callers and jailhouses. That's exactly what drug dealers do. They have younger kids doing all the runnings and everything like that. And they may tell them, don't worry about it, you're too young to go to jail for it. You have these three boys. Trust in a hustle with no guarantees, with trees stashed in a side pocket by the sleeve with dice. Under street lights, rolling red and green, where everyone saw everything, but nobody seen a thing. You asking why they fighting? Yo, that's how they life been dropping a lion in a circus. Don't stop it from biting on hot summer nights, a hospital rides, not a surprise. Crossing the lights of block runners, cargo pants and toolkits with box cutters, flathead screwdrivers, replace keys and padlock numbers. Old heads get soldiers a lot younger. Get it right, appetite gone, it's thirst, not hunger for the revenue. Short term, smooth criminals meet the chief, aka the troop general, aka the school principal. We we'll let that ain't number two out of luck if you only pencil proof. Slip the bounce of fifty dollars to let the pistol through. Now they pour a little more for what they can't drink with you. And no matter the question, it's a quick interview with a weapon that only answers in one syllable. For a kid, being in an adult prison is a constant struggle to survive. It makes no sense. In my eyes, it wasn't designed to rehabilitate you. It was designed for punishment. On the news, they made it sound like I was just horrible, you know, like cold-blooded, but you know, I'm 15 years old. Today, we'll write a letter to an inmate in New York City. The first thing you'll need it's a brand new envelope. What up, Mike? I'm on an A train before the bus ride. Combined, it takes 40 minutes. Just enough time for the Georgetown route. Brooklyn and Manhattan for now. With a minute to look around, thinking about your last letter. Inspiring how you've been brave facing bad weather. Navigating all that pressure. When those folks don't treat peace as treasure. Yo, the goal's not repeating that ever. Wish I could say it is first song. I set a CD on a beat up seat patched together. Rocking like my first cradle. Went to mom's house for the turntable. And jazz jazz records. Late's when I'm awake till. Sleep don't keep early bird plates filled and spice with black pepper as a kid Chill with friends at the crib each weekend to see which head to rap pressure Now reaching higher, preaching to the choir, the priest, the bus driver and myself when I'm tired Right about now, putting my signature down, this message was delivered with a The first time you sent me was when I was locked up actually It was about rolling through NY City, you know, it's just a vibe thing Musicians just attract, I mean, as far as I remember